Hey guys, welcome back. What? Oh, <laughs> Justin! Yeah, one up weekly. Yeah. All right, guys, welcome to the one up weekly. You biffed, you biffed it, Justin. I don't know why. Well, let's talk about it for a second because, <laughs> you know, Ralph, we have to discuss something. I think. Oh, dude, my lights just went out in the storage room. Oh, my gosh. This, <laughs> this show is falling apart. Everybody. All right, hold on. You can you hold wave on. what's going on, right? I can't in here. I got to go out there. Justin, you <laughs> start the show. I got to turn the lights back on. Hold on. <laughs> All right. And I'll be right back. So check this out, guys. So we're here. We're trying something new. And and yesterday we rehearsed this. And everything was going really well. Really well but about 30 minutes later when Ralph showed up at the storage He's at his storage place, and everything is falling apart, but hopefully that will add a little bit of humor to the show here. And his lights just went out because, you know, for some reason the storage system thinks he's not there, and whatever. This whole thing is completely illegal because he's stealing power from the storage unit, which he shouldn't be doing. Um, we were trying to make everything mobile, but no. And <laughs> here's Ralph. Okay, so I, I don't know what that's going to do. Ralph, how is that going to make the show any any better? Is that going to disable the lights going out? <laughs> but see, Ralph, that's the thing with Ralph. He's got some issues, you know? All right. You're supposed to be right, staying at home, but he, instead he's like, I can, you know, the storage oh, unit boy. is an extension of my home. You know, so yeah. I can do the show from the storage Dude, can you unit. hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What's going on? Oh, what's up? So should we start the show all over <laughs> again, should... or what do you want to do? <laughs> no. There's no false starts. You just... Oh, okay. The show must go on. All right. Well, uh, so I guess I should start by saying why we're even here, unless you already did that. No. Well, we're kind of explaining, but you need to go into more detail. All right. Because... So, um, you know, I was talking to Justin the other day, and I was thinking to myself, you know, I was in the storage room, and I was on the phone with him, and I took a moment to look around this place, and I was like, man... I got an issue, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and I know that right. So so it's so I'm accepting that I have the issue, but the thing is, it's uh, I got it got a little out of hand. Like yeah. I gotta admit, if I were to jump in a time machine, should I have one? I might have made different buying choices. Um, not that I I don't regret buying the arcade one ups. I think I just regret regret the quantity of which right. I bought them. I went a little bit crazy. And so I am curious, you know, what it made me think, you know, home, sorry, my buddy over here. Uh, it made me think, like, by the way, this is in my story. This is, this was, it's from Halloween. So just like, <laughs> there's Halloween stuff in here too. Um, it just made me think, like, does anybody else maybe wish that they didn't buy as many as they did? Not it, because now, especially a lot of the newer ones are being announced or coming out. And it's like, ooh, maybe I could have diverted my money differently because part of my strategy kind of was like, ooh, if I build the room with two machines, it'd look better with four machines and maybe two of them I really loved and the other two were there more to fill the space to look more like a real arcade than it was because I loved those games. And now I'm seeing games like, oh, the Sega Cab. Oh, if I had the Sega Cab. If the Sega Cab was only out before, I would have bought the Sega Cab. So I think a lot of us might be in that position, but I am curious. It's probably poll time on that one. Yeah. Justin. I think there's a poll you could probably I think there's a lot of, there on that one. Yeah, there's a lot of different type of people in a lot of different situations. And maybe Ralph and I are in some weird, unique situation where we were making our Ralph is continuing to make YouTube videos. I don't know why I say I don't make YouTube videos, but like, I guess I am in this show once a week. So Justin, that's... I don't know what to do with this guy. Dude. Hold <laughs> up. I need to get him out of here, but now I'm sort of stuck. Like, a... right, hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to try to th throw him. I don't know how this is going to work out, but hold on. Ready? All right. Here we but go. A lot of... All right. Don't hit the camera. All right. One, two, three, go. <laughs> yeah. My family. Oh! Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. So my my family <laughs> makes a good point, and so you're in that camp where they bought they bought an uh, an At Games Legends Ultimate, and they're really happy with that purchase. I've seen a lot of people in the groups uh, share that same thing, you know. And but there's also a, a group of people that bought maybe three or four arcade one ups, and they're completely happy with that. People are showing off their game rooms. Or, yeah. They're happy with it. Uh, what we're talking about is how many people have more than what's the right number? Mm, Ten. 
you know? Yeah, the, like, the people that, that purchase excessive. 10, right? Because I'm at, right now, I'm at the point where I have a Space Invaders that I've never opened, right? So I'm at yeah. 12 total cabinets, including including the At Games Legend Ultimate as the, uh, the most recent, recent purchase. All of the ones that I purchased, I, I, I bought them all, you know, my own money, you know, no gifts. I think Ralph is essentially in the same boat except for uh, the Burger Time cabinet was gifted to you, right? Yes, yep, the Burger Time Arcade one gave to me, which is awesome for the review, which is really cool. Um, yeah, but, you know, I mean, I sit here behind me and there's, I, I haven't really thought about counting them, but there's, like, the ones I can see, there's one, two, three, four, we've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 if you count this cocktail cabinet right here. So there's 11 one-ups in here. Some modded, some stock. And then you guys can't see it, but we'll do a quick tour after. But there's two full-size arcades that way of the camera. And the other crazy thing is, Justin, so the lights probably will go out again. So I'm tapping into the power of the actual storage unit, which I'll show you guys. Because so, so this show could be ended abruptly if like the night security comes around. But for right now, we're good. For right now, we're good. But I need something. I figure I don't want to interrupt the show again. So I'm probably going to find something to throw that way because I think I just need motion. You so if I, motion. so I'm going to, yeah. So, so next time the lights go out, which it will, I'll, I'll come up with something to throw that way. So what do you think happened in the last year? Because in the last year, it seems, well, at least for you and I, for me, I'll tell the situation I was in, you know. Uh, last year, I was helping out to contribute to some of the Arcade 1-Up videos that you would see on YouTube, and it was really difficult for me to spin. Some of these videos took like four hours. A lot of them took about four yeah, hours sure. to produce. And so even the ones where I was doing voiceovers, because, you know, I was doing tons of pictures. I wasn't lazy and just like showed one video and then talked over it. But instead, you know, I would create an entire talk track where I would... I would say, okay, this is going to be a four-minute video. That's four hours of production, right? So I'd run through, you know, what I was going to say, and then I would create pictures for literally every sentence that I was saying to coincide with the video. And people, people like that. I, you know, I had a lot of people that said they were entertained by that. But it's really hard to create a video like that and then not go out and purchase that thing you're talking about. Because you're going on and on about how oh, the final fight just came out and everyone's super excited about it. You're doing research to try to figure out if that's a cab that you want to recommend for other people to get. And you, yeah. you find out like, yeah, I guess I need to pick it up, but not everyone's in my boat, you know, not everyone's in retro Ralph's boat, but I have seen, there's a lot of people that purchase a lot of them and they're still making more. So is it some type of, again, we talked about this before. This is not some situation where we're recommending not to get one up. Yeah. You know? It's, it's maybe make sure you buy the right number of them. <laughs> yeah, well, and, and also, like, think about, obviously, they're going to keep on coming out, and they're going to keep on acquiring licenses to do different titles. So it's like, you know, if maybe the titles you don't love are out now, like, maybe maybe you get, maybe you tied yourself over with, like, a multi-cade, like, like an at games, because it plays everything, but maybe there's still that, like, because a lot of the times, I know we've covered this a million times on the channel, so I don't want to go too far down this path, but... I find the things that I love about these one-ups and is, is that the artwork is good. You know what I mean? Like it's capturing yeah. that essence of the cabinet. Yeah, there's probably some controls that are not what they should be, which a lot of us end up upgrading. But um but you know there's it's it captures the essence of the cabinet. Multicades we we should do a whole episode on multicades versus like standalone units cuz I think that's also a philosophy that goes into like arcade collectors there are arcade collectors that would never they would literally die if you told them oh i bought this street fighter 2 cabinet and i gutted it and made it a multi-cade they'd be like oh what like what That's did right. why would you do that or i took a mortal Kombat and made it a multi-cade god forbid zohar you know like <laughs> if people did that you know what i'm saying so like there's but 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 there is also like not to i told you wouldn't go down this path too far but you put a pie in something you got ten thousand games I'd be hard pressed for someone that would tell me that they go in front of that cabinet every time and they know immediately what they're going to play and they go right to that game. Like, it, maybe they do, but you know the guest that comes to the house scrolls and scrolls and scrolls and like, oh my gosh, there's so many great games, I don't know what to play. So I think that's the the essence of what Arcade One Up captured is that simplicity of turn it on and these are four games I love. Right? right, so you're focused on the gameplay immediately. Where I'll admit, I like the Legends Ultimate, but I'm overwhelmed by the Legends Ultimate because it does everything. It's almost like my Beast Cabinet. It's like a baby version of my Beast Cabinet. It doesn't have four players, it has two, but I have a I have endless ways I can do things. And sometimes 
more ways isn't always better. Like I uh, sometimes options are not always better, especially for people that have a hard time choosing. You know what I mean? Like right. if you go to a car, a car, if there's a car you love, and he's like, "Yeah, we got 36 colors in that car," you're like, "What?" You know what I mean? Especially if you're someone a little indecisive, you're gonna be like, "Wow, you know, I really like the blue one, but the black, red, and and orange look pretty awesome too." <laughs> you know? So, right. so it's just one of those things, guys. It's uh, I, there's no right or wrong way to do it. I just think I've reached a point where I'm like, "Wow." it's gotten a little out of hand. And had I thought about maybe being a little bit more patient and saying, hey, you know what? No, I don't need to review every single cabinet that Arcade One Up puts out. It, I probably wouldn't have ended up in this boat because the majority of these, I'd argue half of them I wanted for myself and the other half I just wanted because I wanted to review them for the channel, for mm -hmm. you guys. You know what I mean? So any interesting comments in the in the chat right now? Well, you know, you could I, I was the, the Rexer show was bringing up something interesting uh, he was saying, Ralph, what about picking them up from offer up and let go afterwards to save some money? And that's the interesting thing. We're not actually talking about how to save money. We're talking about how to not purchase too many. Yeah. And I think there's there's a pretty big distinction in it. And the problem for me was as well, as you guys know, you know, whatever, six months ago I built a site called, you know, deals.consolekits.com and it's 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 to help you save money. And I almost wish I never made it <laughs> because <laughs> that got me addicted, right? It li literally, I was like testing out the app and making sure it works. And I'm like, hey, look, there's one available <laughs> not too far away for only 200 yeah. bucks. I did, save some, I did save some money, but I still have too many. And, and, yeah. and now I have to, it's Sophie's choice now. It's like, which one do I get rid of, right? And I love them all, but I'm running out of space. So... And I and I want more, and I want some original arcades too. So, it's a tough thing. I don't know. What and do I'll tell you, Justin. The interesting thing is, so I recently, as you know, on the channel, I recently started picking up the bigger, you know, traditional original arcade cabinets. And I had started there. So about, I don't know. I lose track of time now. It could have been fifty. It, it's definitely more than fifteen years, but I don't know exactly how many years. But I bought my first cabinet, which was this crappy Galaga, but it was a full size Galaga. Then I went from that to a cocktail cabinet, but all original stuff, and I loved it, and it was fun, but my, I noticed that my fun is that I have this engineering background, so my fun was fixing it up and making it work right. So there's an element of that in there for me, too, because honestly, if you look at what I do on the channel, I love modding these to turn them into something different or add additional options and be creative with it. So to me, this is like a canvas to do whatever I want with. Right. So that's kind of what drew me into one-ups because I was like, as soon as I saw them, I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many cool things. I could put real arcade boards in these and whatever, but I'm kind of in this weird crossroads where I said in an episode forever ago, and I can't find the clip, but I will find it, where I said that arcade one-up is going to end up being a gateway drug where people are going to have these, but they're going to want some full-size machine that they loved as a kid that either maybe arcade one-up wouldn't make or... They just wanted it. They always wanted it. So it like it, you, if, especially if people mod them, they get comfortable enough with the technical angles of it, and they're like, "Oh wow! Like I could probably buy a full size arcade cabinet." There's plenty of resources out there. Actually, Rexer Rexer Show. You want to know something crazy? Is I've been talking What's to that? Rexer Show for a while, mm -hmm. like now since CES, and I actually don't know his real name. I actually call him Rexer Show. I don't know. <laughs> Please, Rexer Show, tell me your really na real name. I never asked you because I feel stupid about it. But um, he pointed me to these guys. They're called Arcade. I think it's Arcade Repair Tips. And, dude, they have everything. They're the ones that got me comfortable with discharging the CRT in the first place because the guy has all these videos. So, like, mm -hmm. I kind of feel like we live in this day and age where YouTube, you can almost learn how to do anything in YouTube. So... Um, you know, don't be afraid to kind of explore the hobby a little bit more. It doesn't mean you hate one up or you hate at games. Maybe it just means like, hey, getting a full size is kind of cool. I want to play with that a little bit if you have the room. The things that you can't mm -hmm. contest is it's going to be heavy, it's going to take up space, and it's old, so it could break. Yeah, but so let's let's do that happens. The, let's do the Zohar test. Zohar said something I think pretty brilliant. I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight it here. Okay. So let me ask you, Ralph, and everyone else. I'm asking Ralph, but ask this to yourself. Has your, let's call it the arcade one-up and, you know, or maybe the arcade addiction. Let's just say arcade addiction because it, <laughs> it encompasses multiple brands and companies now. Right, right. Has the addiction ruined your relationship with... Oh, <laughs> just, I'll stay in the dark for a little while, dude. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> has, your, has your addiction uh, ruined your relationship with your family or your spouse? Has it ruined your job? Has it hindered your life in any way? And um... If, 
Or am I? Is it to me? Do you want yeah, me to go answer for that? it? Yeah. Let's um, go. I mean, you know, the, the <laughs> sorry that I'm in the dark, guys. I'll get the light back on. I mean, I don't have anything to throw over there. Um, <laughs> I feel like really funny. You can see all the I games. A, can't let me see, see me. if I can set the mood. So, does the mood go with like something? So, guys, um, it hasn't really affected my relationship. However, it has taken up a lot of space, and I'd be lying if classic Kim wasn't at least a little bit upset. But you know. She's gotten over it, and that's about all I have to say. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, uh, you know, the space is probably the biggest issue, and now with me buying full-size arcade, she's like, mm-hmm. whoa, what's up with the space? You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So um, I think I'm at my max, though. I also know you need to know your limits, and it's not about uh, who's wearing the pants or who's responsible. That's not what it's about. It's about being respectful to your partner. You know what I mean? And right. I just feel like I'm bleeding on that edge of being respectful of the space that we both share. So I think, I think I'm at a point where there's no more arcades coming in unless one arcade goes out. You know what I mean? One, it's a one for one right now. Like one I'm at max one. capacity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think everyone else should, you know what I mean? Unless, you know, there are people that are in, live in other parts of the country where they have basements and you know, the wife says, or significant other partner, whatever says, "Hey, the basement is yours to do what you want with." Where have you I don't that have that. I don't. Ha- I don't. I don't have that. I don't know. I, can I, I'm gonna, <laughs> Justin. I'll let you there's go to no the thing. I gotta basements these lights in Arizona. No, no. I'm saying in Arizona, there's no basements, but like right. in other parts of the country, there are. Like, had I had I stayed in Rhode Island, there's actually everyone's every house has a basement, and the basement is the full size of your floor plan on on your house. So, like, if you have a 1,200 square foot house, or you know whatever it might be, you have a full basement that same size. Yeah, that's that's right. a significant amount of arcade cabinets, and you could probably have other stuff down there too so um so i'm not i don't have that luxury i'm taking up house space so <laughs> all right <laughs> i'm gonna well, get the light back on if you can well, get that light on you know all of this darkness reminds I'll me i'll be back of, in a minute while while ralph does that i just want to entertain everyone with the if a big man it takes a big man to cry but it takes a bigger man to laugh at that <laughs> okay ralph we uh did you guys <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. I, <laughs> I, this is so sad. There was a <laughs> there was a, a a a control panel cover from an arcade one up that I that I knew it was already cracked and I like freaking flung it and it hit the wall I, and it made is, enough. This is just really irritating me, Ralph. I have to tell what, you because what? see this whole idea of him going to the warehouse. This was his idea. Right? Like most of, most of the episodes that we put together stem from ideas that I have and then I write the entire thing, and then he just performs it. Whoa, 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 this whoa, whoa. one, hold on, like, hold on, hold on, hold no, on, no, 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 that is one, incorrect. No, that this is incorrect. one, he's like, you come up with no, an idea, and I make the idea better. Usually, is what happens. So you one up the idea, maybe, but usually, but see, I just, <laughs> you just really irritate me because we're totally <laughs> screwed. This episode, come on, man! Like, first of all, we have to do this janky thing. Where where there's this storage room where this is where the audio is coming from, the storage room. Hey, man, I had because, to do what I had to do. Because that's his laptop, and he's on 5G or whatever, and he's got one bar. The audio sounds great, but the video is horrible. So then, so then his actual <laughs> camera is coming from his phone. Thankfully, the lip sync is pretty good. But just like seriously, it's just the way it makes me... Oh, I don't even know how to explain it. How you know what though, Justin? Honestly, you know what? I don't. I don't feel that bad because of one no, you thing. You know what? Right? I'll tell you no, how. No, I no, feel. no, 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 no. Sometimes no. I feel like I don't have a partner. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like my only friends is the people on One Up Weekly, the people in the chat. I never watch Ralph. That's the truth. Are you done? (laughs) Are you done now? (laughs) I'm such a jerk, dude. (laughs) Okay, all right. Okay, okay, okay. You're done. All right, so hey, the reason why I'm not... All right, so here's the thing. When we were talking the other day, you were like... Justin and I were having this back and forth kind of reminiscing about, you know, our experiences with these one-up cabinets. And, And I got a little bit jealous because he he's like, oh, yeah, these were all... Like, he got into this all, like... He's not the most... Like, he's not the most, like sensitive dude in the world what? and he starts you... talking about what okay whatever and he starts talking about like oh these were so special experiences because i built these with my daughter and i was like dude i do all my stuff alone i was like i mod alone all of my experiences were alone <laughs> so i kind of got like it kind of like bummed me out it upset me and i'm like oh jesus 
I walk a lonely road, the only road that I, Ralph, has ever known. Don't know where to go, but Ralph, Ralph mods alone. <laughs> You're such a jerk, he mods dude. Alone. He mods alone. <laughs> Dick. He mods alone. He mods a. <laughs> okay, seriously, you're pissing me off now. Well, <laughs> I like... have control of the microphone, so you will listen to everything I have to say. <laughs> what a jerk. That's what's beautiful. To see the distance he is away from his computer? He can't do anything about this. <laughs> can you show you can show my room, right? Can't you show the room? Yeah, check this out. So this is this is uh this is Ralph's office here. See how it's empty? We should we should you should text uh, text Kim and tell her to come to your desk and we'll have her on the show. <laughs> It'd because... be awesome she didn't know. <laughs> and she went up there. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Um hey, we got a super chat. Let's make sure we highlight it here. So Stranger Films. My girlfriend says, I can't buy any more cabs until we find a house with a basement. Uh, she does like watching you guys Smart show woman. me some, some, some times, though. That's, sorry, the text is really small. That's awesome. Thanks, man. Thanks for... Uh, <laughs> Appreciate that, man. Yeah. I think it's... It, you always get it wrong. It's Stringer Films, right? Oh, I'm sorry. What do, what do I say not, You called it Stranger Films. It's Stranger, Stringer well, Films. Yeah. yeah. It should, he should rename it to Stranger Films. That'd be better. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. He's going to totally rebrand this whole entire thing for you, Justin. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right so, so anyways so yeah so where were we 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 were talking well why don't you give us a tour of what you got going on in there because i know if we don't you know show mortal Kombat, then zohar is gonna freak out so why don't you go ahead and show so him. just keep in mind though that cabinet this is the one that zohar is going to eventually get when we're through all this not this what? this craziness in the in the world but uh i have to make some changes to it but this is the one and the thing is the pcb is not in it right now so i can't even turn it on so i knew trust me i was scrambling to find the pcb and the only and i think the reason why i don't i think you're actually i can blame this one on you justin because you wanted me to take the heat sink off of oh that's right yeah the cpu so i had but, it but at here's home. the thing there's no one else talking about that and and that was the moment i said hey bro you picked that up at costco let's take a look at it and we learned that arcade one up was elevating you know the uh and promoting the type of chipsets they were using <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> what <laughs> yeah i could smell it from here dude seriously like why do i have a bad taste in my mouth all of a sudden but but anyway, I burp alone, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm alone right now. I'm always alone. I'm alone in this lonely storage unit. There's no one else in here, so yeah. Well, so, they shouldn't be. They should. But be But here's at home. the thing: like, I have to ask you with yeah, your addiction. Yeah. Look, we're all friends here. Yeah. This of is the safe space right now. Source trust so tree. I I I have to ask you. Yeah. With your arcade. You know, going into original arcades, are you becoming a purist? Is that what's happening? Like, you're not going to buy any arcade one-ups alone? Like, anymore? Like, wh uh, what's happening? I don't know, but for some reason, the, the, because, because the I Monster still Energy love drink the the Monster Energy kicked in, and I have to do this right now. I don't know, my childish side is coming up. It's the arcade. <laughs> it's the arcade one up counter key. Oh wait, wait, wait! Are you kidding me? Why what? haven't we done? This? Why haven't we done this already? Dude, right? What are you doing? It's the. We gotta Can't... find the chord for that. Do it. It's the. It's way off, dude. It's not gonna happen. Okay. Too much delay. It's the. All right. All right, we'll do that. We'll, pra it's we'll practice the arcade it. One of <laughs> that sucks. You oh, go, oh. Is this supposed got, to be metal? I got dizzy. It's the arcade. It's the arcade. One, one, two, three, four hundred. Air, four, 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 one, two. Hey. We did not <laughs> rehearse that at all. It's the arcade. One, two, three, four. Count the card. All right. Um. By the way, someone thought you were gonna sing. Uh. Oh, dude. Someone said I can't believe Justin. I thought he was gonna go into. Ah, oh, crap. Um. It's gonna come to me. Hold on. Oh, it's someone. Someone said this, and it, they. <laughs> Who sings this song? Ready? I'm gonna do my best impression. <clears throat> 
Should have been dead on Sunday morning, burn my hand. No time for is that, Ain't got no time. Is that is that Creed? <laughs> I think it's Creed. Okay, anyways, <laughs> someone thought you were going to bust that out. I'm like, eh, nah, probably I, not. I'm more into like... Probably not much of a Creed fan. All right, let's... No, 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 you're sidetracking us. <laughs> Would you, you asked me a question. I forgot what it was now. Yeah, so... Oh, yeah. am I going to go into... Um, no, you know, I mean... Because, dude... Here's the thing. Come so, on. so, so this is something that you guys, I, I probably wouldn't normally share it, but I was in a really bad mood earlier, so I think I will share it. So, mm. uh, I was sitting down at my at, in the kitchen and I was doing taxes, and I know they're not due; they got extended, thank God. But Did I you guys ever watched that Full House episode where they do taxes? Just saying. <laughs> so, so I start doing taxes, and I looked at how much money I had invested because so 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 I'm not gonna I don't want to go here; it's boring. So basically. Retro Ralph LLC is a business. I can write some of these things off as business expenses, right? So I looked at it and I was like, holy crap, the amount of money I spent on both arcade one-ups to mod and then arcade one-ups I bought for myself and then all the parts that come along with modding. So I mean, it would, I, to be honest, I'm not going to not. Let's just jump to the, the end. Let's say he's in the red, okay? He's in the yeah, red. All right, yeah, definitely in the red, but I'm not going to stop, but I'm going to definitely like. I mean, my modding is not going to, I'm going to do other stuff. Like, I'm not going to walk away from it, but, you know, it's going to be less of a focus. You know what I mean? Or or I'm not going to do, like, a mod. I was doing, like, almost two mods a month for a while. Like, that's not even feasible. Like, no one can sustain that. And so, what are you doing? <laughs> this is a really boring. <laughs> What's boring? Okay, continue on. I'm sorry. I just had to. I'm sorry. I'm Ralph. being boring. Yeah, yeah. So Zohar has a super chat. Thank you, Ralph. I believe it when I see it. But thank you. I'm not saying I'm stopping. Okay, so don't like tell me I'm stopping. What's I'm not, that don't... song? You're like you're like on the ledge, right? I'm not on the ledge. I'm not. Oh my god. We could cut ties of all the lies that you've been living in, and if you. Want mod to our <laughs> mod arcades again? I would understand. Yes, yes. This, this. I would understand. Yes, yes. No, would um, that's really messed you know, up, by the way, because that's about <laughs> someone jumping off a ledge to die. I'm not like who's <laughs> freaking arcades, dude. What the heck, but, dude? But, I should have never allowed the guitar on the show. <laughs> like you're going out of control. That's right. He's, I think Justin knows four songs. That's right. I'm like that guy from Wedding Singer. He's like, um, he just has to do the same song again. Yeah, that's me. Should we maybe? Should we? I'm gonna hate this episode when I watch it back. <laughs> of course you are. Oh wait, I don't watch him back. According to you, I don't oh, watch him right. back. Oh wait, how did you find out about that? Well, okay, okay, I want maybe I watch one back. Um, all right. So so no. So I guess what I'm saying is to if, to circle back and and finally answer your question. I think right now because there's nothing going on in One Up Land, right? It's fun for me to tinker with the real arcades, and everyone seems to be enjoying that content. I'm having fun with it, and I started this channel initially for one reason and one reason only, and it was to share my love for all things retro arcade. So that's what I feel like I'm doing. Not pivoting the channel, but I feel like if it's arcade related, that's what you guys subscribe to the channel for, and that's what mm -hmm. I'm gonna do. But mm -hmm. I also do feel like <laughs> I let other outside things influence me sometimes, and I'm done with that. Like if so and so does a review on something else, so be it. Review your ass off. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, and what I'm gonna do is not listen to you, Justin. All right, I stole that from um, I stole that from there was a movie with Adam Sandler where. What is it's with the music in the back? On a Saturday. Dude! <laughs> I'm <laughs> doing... Can I show people talking stuff? about Billy Jules. We're so going to get demonetized for all this Yeah, come on, man. Thing. We don't make any money as it is. Like, you're going to kill it. We make like 30 cents on, an, on a, on a one-up weekly episode. Right. Now we make negative 60 cents. Thanks. <laughs> all right, sorry. I, I got to stop because pretty soon... I actually know the song that if we play it, it's an instant. Like, you play the three notes of the song instant demonetization yeah i'm sure i, I have nothing else one. to throw when this thing goes off do you do, should we try to do yeah, i could try to walk around with the camera yeah let's do but... a tour let's let's show everybody how depressing your life is let's do it. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> 
<laughs> Jeez. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you are really on one today. Like, honestly, like, there. so just so you know, I do, Justin and I do talk throughout the week about what's going on on the show, but he's changing a lot of the show on the fly. Like, this, a lot of this stuff was not what we talked about, or he's changing it, like, or flipping it around the other way. So, so Stringer Films oh. says, can Justin play the Ragar song? No, just recently I'm like... No, I can't. I can't do it, but I am working on some like some. Uh... I want you to be able to do. You know what I would love if you could do a Justin version of Streets of Rage because I love Streets of Rage. Obviously, you guys know that. Anyway, yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. He's not even listening to me. So um, that's cool. um, that oh, a Streets of Rage song that would be amazing. So thank you, Zohar, for another zoop, super chat. Zohar, Ralph, can I send you? Zohar, you staying safe out there, buddy? I hope you're staying safe. I hope everyone is staying safe, by the way. I want to let you know that if I were to film mm -hmm. myself entering this place, I had... Gl oh, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Hold on. All right, so as Ralph was saying, that he hopes everyone is safe, you know, because it's really important, and um, we got been, it. We've been... Oh, okay, wow, you're getting better at this, huh? I chucked my uh, Monster Energy drink can, so I'm good. <laughs> There's right, like a yeah, bunch let's, of stuff. Let's do a let's do a tour here, man. All right. So keep in mind, you're yeah. yeah have let me to... read. Your, let me read Zuber, uh, the super chat. Ralph, can you send? Can 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 Zohar send you two hundred dollars for shipping, and no. get it before I die during the quarantine? So the problem with that Zohar is that I would hate to ship it to you because I hear horror stories of people shipping complete one ups because they put them on pallets and they get the one up isn't that sturdy. Like I mean, look at the. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, it's not the sturdiest thing in the world. Like, a little bit of banging around and shipping, get it, unless I boxed it all up and shipped it to you in a box, then you'd have to put it all back together. <laughs> so we could do that. And I could, if you really want, I could do that. Um, and it'd be fun, but you, my friend, would have to 100%, I don't give a crap, you'd have to call into the show, you'd have to show that it's in your house. Maybe you don't have to be on the camera, but you have to show that it's there. Mm -hmm. That'd be the deal if I'm shipping it, because you're not going to do this hide behind the camera thing. You have such a pretty face, Zohar. Come on, look at that guy. He's handsome. Every, everybody wants to see the Zohar, right? I know. Everyone wants to see the Zohar. All right, so, dude, you know what you have to do, right? Because there's like 700 microphones set up, mm -hmm. so you're going to have to figure out how to... I'm going to... We're actually going to have to figure this out. No, we're all going to watch you. That's what's going to happen. Do it. All right. <laughs> okay, so what's happening now anymore, is, is the... Uh, this I'll do the Discovery Channel stuff, you know. So Ralph is trying to move the microphone in such a way where it's not in his way. And then he's going to stand up. Watch this. He will grab his cell phone. Yeah, right there. And now he's going to do a tour around the room. Now it's going to get really weird here because he's going to transfer his audio. Yeah, now you can hear echoes. And I'll just leave it yeah, there for a while. Just no, you have to kill. Ralph. No, kill the other. Yeah, Come on. Come on, go. Okay, so so we'll walk over here first. I can kind of maybe I can do this so I can use it like a let's see. Yeah, you thought gonna, you thought the only arcade cabinets he had were behind him. It goes much. Oh, look at that! That's yeah. a fun shot. So here, so we'll go over here, and I'm gonna turn out the trip. Oh, you guys didn't see this, right? There's a cocktail cabinet right in front of me. That's right. It's got a naughty board in it too. Yeah. So this guy is running. Um, uh, you're looking at it from the opposite way. Yeah, the IK sixteen one, right? Yeah, and it's got, this is a full-size cocktail cabinet. It's got some protective coating on it still. So, but yeah, if you go over here, you'll see uh, full-size lethal enforcers. And then you'll see, I don't, I don't, I haven't done a video on this yet. Because I, yeah. it, it, it was in my house, but it's out of my house. This is a Street Fighter 1 that got, um, that I'm going to, I'm going to, so I don't typically do multi-cades, but, but, but outside of the Beast. But I'm going to convert this to, um a multi-cade because they took the CRT out. That's so right. It's got, a, it's got an LCD in. in it, so it's already impure, you know? Yeah, so. it's already been. All right, so, so this Zohar is Zohar gave us another crap. super chat. I'm going to have to explain it. So Zohar says, I'll do it. Ship it, and I'll send you $200 right now. Please, I'm dying here. Um, okay, so this is all the Halloween crap. You, know, you guys don't really need to see that. And Santa, like a gigantic Santa. And this was, I threw Homeboy, so he's... I'm sorry, my friend. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so... Dude. You're not what? supposed to shake hands anymore. <laughs> All right. Okay, come on. So over here, you've got um, a Turtles. So this was a Turtles. So I modded Turtles a million times. I, I, so this was actually, this is a Turtles control panel that because I was going to put the um, HAP sticks on it. So if I flip mm -hmm. this around, this actually has HAP wait, sticks. Wait, wait, wait. HAPs or HAP? HAP. 
This it. has this has hay up sticks. This is actually a replacement gun for lethal mm-hmm. enforcers because one of the guns is busted. Um, but yeah, this this was actually 99 Lives made this. This is really nice. It's got mm-hmm. the light up light up green cup holders. Mm-hmm. So now as you go over here, you've got Tatsunoku's going through a little bit of a a refresh right now. So there's actually no monitor in it right now. But this oh, wow. is actually this is interesting right now. This is the people ask me this all the time, Justin. That is the 19 inch monitor in that box from Holland Computer that will work with Rev One horizontal based arcade one ups. You wow. can plug the stock PCB into that. That's amazing, dude. Why'd you go back to my office? <laughs> I'm uh, removing everything else. So it's just the two of us. How's that? Oh, uh, okay. There we go. All right. Can you still hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Um. All right. So then, as we go through, so this is that. Uh, this is that cocktail cabinet, full size. This yeah. is really neat. Then you got, you know, obviously you guys are familiar with the stuff over here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. before you something. go back, you got to show us where you're stealing power. That's the real. Oh fun yeah. Part. Oh yeah. Hold on. All right. I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to do this because there's like stuff everywhere. Because then I threw that when I th- turned the lights back on, I jacked up a bunch of. Okay, ready? Ralph is still dreaming of your. He's stealing stuff. <laughs> uh, sir. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. Sorry, we're like kids again, you know. When I was fourteen so years I old, a, I brought a, I brought a, I brought a ladder. Little giant. <laughs> Very cool. See the things we do for this show, right? We 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 do it all for you guys. We do it all for you guys. So this right. is the whole, if you want to look at the whole space, I'll, I'll kind of like elevate the camera a bit. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here, guys. I mean, like, yeah, look. And, and this is the, the at, newer like, one. Like, wicked right? random. Like, why is he <laughs> that thing just shoved in there? Oh, wow. You I can just can't wait till we do episode 50 and see how big your storage is then. Yeah, so I'll I'll pan over here really quick because, so, so the one thing, Justin, remember when I talked about wanting to redo the Sega cab? Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm just laughing at Tammy how she says she's uh, she feels like she's watching an episode of Hoarders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tammy, that's messed up. I think it's beautiful. Yeah, of course you do. But look, look, like. So I think that's that cabinet needs to be back in the house somewhere. That's one of my favorite cabinets, and I which know one, it's which one's that? The Sega Genesis. I freaking love that. Oh thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one of my favorite ones, and it's unfortunate. So real unfortunate story is, this is the ugly side of the internet. So that guy, a kid that made that, is some kid who did graphic design out of Canada. Was a, I say kid because he was a young guy, and he got he was a, he was one guy. So keep in mind, there are people that started businesses based on arcade one up jc reynolds is one of them of tulsa arcades and like in the beginning he was one guy he didn't have a staff yet you know it's just him and his wife and then over time they hired people but people like they don't realize that in the beginning when one up started this was like a guy in his basement going i'm gonna make marquees or i'm gonna do this and unfortunately people kind of they they didn't like understand it was one person and they kind of put so much pressure on him that he stopped doing it. It's really unfortunate because he's 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 probably one of the most talented, like single um uh what do you call him? Like just a like freelance a, type of a designer yeah. that I've mm-hmm. ever found. So anyways. Um and then you know, there's random stuff. Like I have a, a bunch of stuff back here that's just random, like you know, sides wait, of wait, wait. is that set. is that a package, like a, a box that's unopened? Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Which cab is that? It's... Uh, Space Invaders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you at least get that one for seventy five? Yes, that's a seventy five job. Boom. But see what I mean? Like, I never even used it. Like that's totally to your whole like. Yeah, I have the same thing. How about a seventy five dollar uh, Space Invaders? Still haven't unpacked it. Oh, here I am making fun of you when I'm in the same boat. <laughs> Sorry yeah, exactly. about that, buddy. But uh, but yeah, so that's kind of what's going on in here right now, and. You know, there's random stuff in here. Like, you can kind of see, like, non-one-up stuff. There's a pedestal arcade mm-hmm. right here. I don't know if you could tell, but that's a pedestal Street Fighter. That's that's what's left of the Neo Geo because this cabinet, if you look at it, I used it for a whole bunch of different things, but that's what's left of the Neo Geo. And this is, like, a little 
tabletop thing. And then you got, of course, the one up, um, you know, cocktail head to head cabinet. Yeah, but this thing's pretty cool that I got in front of me right here. You really like I remember you just kept on going on and you're like, check it out, man. I got this I got this real art cocktail cabinet. I'm like, OK. Uh, <laughs> no, it's pretty it's neat. Like, Can you see it right uh, now? I, I know it's cool, but like it's for a purist, you're not a very good one. It's, what do you mean? It's, it's already been tampered with, man. You got a freaking iCade in it, right? And, do you like the height? You got to work with me here. What is exciting you about that cabinet? Um, I don't know. That it's heavy and it's running JAMA, so you can put any kind of JAMA board you want in it. So, so here, here's a super chat from Remy, 8169. Thank you so much for the super chat. He says, how high would be bidding be if this for this on Storage Wars? That's pretty good. And, Probably not uh, a lot. <laughs> Zohar says, Ralph, I'll take it if it's the Costco version because I'm looking to get the Costco version again anyway. I need to mod it all. It is the Costco version, yeah, Zohar. Yeah. I told it's, you that. It's totally the Costco one. I, uh, oh, come on! So really, this is this is what we're doing now? The show just turned into uh, you playing Donkey Kong? No, Maybe. I'm going to shut it off. Now we're but, I wanna, but I do want to show you some... Uh -huh. uh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to be able to. I wanted to open this thing up so you could see it, but it's going to be hard for me to do that in here. What, what are you talking about? Well, I kind of like this. The, the reason why I love this is the design of it is killer. Like, oh, oh, okay. Can you hear me okay? By the way, I know that. Yeah, I don't you have sound great, man. You can't hear me, okay? I, I can hear you fine, dude. Okay, so check this out. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a little dark because I can't really do anything about that. But what I love about this is this. So, this is why I like this cocktail cabinet. Here, I'm going to see if I can move the camera down a tiny bit. There we go. All right, okay, there we looking go. good. Ooh. So in this little access door, like, what? you know, in this is the door. It... We're about to find out. Oh, oh man, I can't no, wait. No, no. All right, there we go. There we go. Ooh, there's like a light in there, too. Yeah, yeah, no, it has. Hey, it, look, it's, it's a naughty like... board and a power supply. But I mean, but what's so cool about it is it's wired. Can you see that it's wired for JAMA? Yeah, like I see JAMA. Yeah, I see JAMA. I see VGA. So that's what I love power. so much about it is like if you go and find another board mm, that's well, yeah, um, yeah. a cocktail mm -hmm. cabinet configuration type of a board, you can slap it in there and you're good to go. And they did like some really neat. There's a lot of really neat features of the cabinet, but uh, but, you know, it's solid. It's half inch wood. It's got real team molding. It's a really nice like if I compare it to the one up cocktail cabinet, it's like a no brainer. This is way nicer. But oh, OK. But um, but you know, you pay a lot more for something. Yeah, like a couple this. questions about it. So first of all, Zohar has a super chat. He says Ralph doesn't need it any need to mod it anymore. It's okay. And I think I think he's talking about the Mortal Kombat. But David David Dimmings, he made something pretty interesting. Is what brand is the cocktail cabinet you're showing? That's a good question. It's um, <laughs> it's a really good question. So it's a uh, it, it. Here's the funny thing. Let me put the camera back on myself for a second. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is um. It's like a bogus brand, really. So it's uh, it's fully from China, and they do sell a mm -hmm. version of this, believe it or not, on Walmart's website. And I think they call it Arcade Classics. I did not get it from Walmart's website. Mm -hmm. But if you go on Walmart's website and you look for cocktail cabinet, there should be one in there. It does have a 60 and one I got it from a buddy who, who orders like usually about a – he usually does one shipping container from China a year. And he's like, I have a really good deal on this. And I've, I was like, well, what's a good deal? And it was pretty good price. It was like, you know, I want to say it was something like, I mean, obviously he gave it to me for a really good price because the problem is like you order those bulk orders from China. Like if you're a distributor and you buy those bulk orders or someone that runs a, a you know, retro game sh store or, you know, resale arcade, whatever it is. Um, if you can't fill the container, like they won't really give you a deal. But if you're like, hey, look, I'll order X amount of units. They'll yep. push you to fill the container. So this to him was like another game to save some big percentage to reach their minimum. So he gave me a good deal. I don't want to, he sells these. So I, I don't feel comfortable telling, saying what he actually charged me for it, but it was his cost. So, mm -hmm. nice. you know, it was, well, I got lucky deal. to get that deal. So yeah. this is really crazy. We just got, I'm having a hard time. It, when I click on it, it won't pop it up in the screen for some reason, but we just got a $10 super chat uh, from yeah. just this guy, Justin. I don't know his last name though. 
he says <laughs> is it you no 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 <laughs> no no check it out he says he says you know and you have to do whatever the super chat says he goes ralph it looks like your beard is getting longer are you doing the corona thing where you're during the coronavirus you're just gonna let all your hair grow out yeah that's that's what he asked he's like show us your hair oh my it's the arcade <laughs> one up <laughs> i gotta find that note you're in I'm not caring about the hair. The hair's I'm full Zohar this right now. <laughs> Wait, full Zohar? What? I don't know. <laughs> Where did that know. come joking. from? I guess Zohar's got big hair. How would you? I'm not joking. How all bad right. is the audio on this? I have like it I don't sounds have my... fine. I think it sounds fine. My voice <laughs> sounds all podcasty, and your voice sounds like it's coming from a phone, from a tin can. Cool. That's right. That sounds good. The tin can, like tin can cam. So yeah. So thank you so much for everybody joining us in this awesome Storage Wars version of One Up Weekly. We're not over yet. We have more topics to discuss. Can I show you guys something really cool really fast? Yeah. So I, I had this idea and uh, and that I was going to use this. I didn't design this, but someone else did. Like, I don't know what I would use this for, but isn't this cool? This is in a, a How thick is that, man? Control. Huh? How thick is that? It's a half inch. Oh, wow. It's like a half inch a acrylic? Quarter, uh quarter inch, sorry. Okay. Yeah, it's the same width as an arcade one-up. It's the same. It's a quarter inch uh, acrylic. But isn't that cool? Like, I was kind of thinking how neat it would be if you could light it up. Because if you just put some LED strips it, you, on, like, facing it, it'd mm -hmm. probably light the whole thing up. Which is actually, when I think about this, I think that's probably what one-up's doing with those light-up control panels. Like, there's probably just LEDs, like, kind of... I don't know, that are shining through the acrylic or something. But this was really cool. This came from Arcade Game Factory. Um, that's one of the guys that, he's like one of the first ones that made uh, really high quality marquees for Arcade 1-Ups. Now there's uh, Angel Otero. Um, he doesn't have a website to my knowledge though, but he does them through Facebook. I hear he, his quality is really good. I, I actually had one of his, but I never put it on a cabinet just because I just, I don't know, I just never had the time to do it. But uh, mm -hmm. but from what I saw, it looked like it was pretty good quality. Yeah, going you know you spend a lot of time talking about the cocktail. I think you got to show us something else you have in that room, right? What else do I have in this room, Justin? Oh well, you talked about the Sega, right? What else? You got that Mortal Kombat next to you, right? What's I mean, you know you got to get you got to give it a little bit of love just for just for a second. Point the camera what you, at it. Oh, the the one up cocktail? No, 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 no. To your to your left. Don't you have a Mortal Kombat 11 one there? Yeah, There's yeah, a... it's not turned on, but... Yeah, but you could still show the beautiful artwork that's from it and make... Uh... Yeah, yeah, that's uh, Joe Sabo's That's Joe Sabo's design, which is pretty cool. And then this one, this one's got Joe Sabo's design, and then it has... Um... So that's what you do with Sabo's stuff? You just put it in a storage room, that, that's it? No, not true. So that's got... <laughs> this is all Sabo. Um, this was actually... This this video that I did on this one up was my most... It, it is still remains my... Mm -hmm. Number one most viewed video, mm -hmm. and then down here I got the light up riser that JC makes, which is really cool. So that's that's Tulsa Arcades that makes these. That's right. But yeah, so that was that's pretty cool. I, it was the reason why I loved the Mortal Kombat cabinet, honestly, is because I did a. It was the first arcade where I hooked up an Xbox One, and why that's so fun is there's a lot of really fun games on the Xbox One. So I mean, because you got the whole marketplace, and on the marketplace you've got, um, you know, they've got uh, Capcom has like an arcade classics hit uh, kit. You've got um, Galaga. There's there's versions of Galaga out there. There's like so many cool retro games, and then there's also new retro inspired games on mm -hmm. on the Xbox Store. So there's like a bunch of stuff. I, you know, if you if you have a chance to, if you had a cabinet and you you wanted to run games like Mortal Kombat 11 or any more modern, like you can run Killer Instinct, the new version, the the sort of remake of Killer Instinct, which honestly. I was never a gigantic Killer Instinct fan, although I loved the music and everything was really cool. Um, the newer version is awesome and it plays really well in an arcade cabinet. So, like, you know, if you ever want to do something like that, Sabo's got full kits and all that kind of stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, and I have a video on how to hook up your uh, your Xbox One to a arcade cabinet and just any arcade cabinet it doesn't have to be uh, one up or anything like that. Yeah, and then we, you know, we've got. Um, We've got the Star Wars, which obviously everyone loved the Star Wars. Yep. Uh, and this Star was the Wars? Wonder. Star Wars? I, 
I will admit that I I, reference. I totally, 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 one hundred percent did something stupid to this cabinet. If you guys watched the video, I put I put an Allen One yoke on it. So the company Allen One was making yokes for replacement arcade cabinets, and this is a replica, pretty much as close a replica to the original as possible. Except in the mm-hmm. back, instead of using nylon gears, it uses these um, they're like metal gears. Mm. So Ooh, metal gear, would, I like that. Yeah, this would last a really long time, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Turn that light on. Hold on. we go i'm not even gonna tell you guys what i threw over there <laughs> <laughs> he threw mortal Kombat. no i threw um so so there's a collection of stuff right here <laughs> hold on so i don't even know what i just pulled out but there's a bunch of things i keep <laughs> oh my gosh there's a bunch of stuff i keep pulling out and uh like these are these are so this is this just shows you how crazy i really am so these are acrylic tops to mods I didn't do. So there's this one. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. There's this one. Okay. Hold on. Uh, all right. Mm-hmm. There's this one. Okay. There's this one. Yeah, that's why <laughs> you're an addict. Mm-hmm. There's this one. Oh, I did. When is this going to end? This one's cracked. Uh, okay. This one I think is to. I don't know what that's to. What game is that? Is that? Is that is that maybe? trackball in the middle? And it got it got <laughs> cut off right there. So yeah. So, <laughs> oh my god. So I guess right. we don't know how deep this this episode is. Very revealing. <laughs> Dude, it gets deep in here, man. There's just like I mean, if I I got one more thing I could pull out that's kind of fun. All right. Hold on. Let me see if I let me see if I can get at it. Um. All right. Give me one second. It's behind the. It's actually behind this. Oh my yeah, god. You, you get yourself the Street Fighter 4 mod that's really a Street Fighter 5. Oopsie. <laughs> you got your uh, oh my god. final fight. You got your asteroids, your cheap $75 asteroids. You got your centipede and asteroids. Oh my. You got another asteroids. And you got the Zoha. <laughs> yeah. Zoha. <laughs> oh man. All right, Justin, I'm um. This. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're about we're about wrapping this show up because I feel like we're touching the limits of how long I should really be in this room without getting in deep trouble. So is that it? We're gonna do a little short one for tonight. Um, short one. We're at almost <laughs> well, an we're, hour. At, we're almost talking? at an hour, but. I think we got one more story that we can do, right? What? And it's the oh. it's the loneliness of this room right here. Look, just this is where Ralph is supposed to be, <laughs> and he's not there. Instead, he's here. He should be hey, here. Put that back. Put that back up. Put that back up really quick. Yeah, yeah. What? Let's try to see what I'm working on on that table. So, <laughs> what is that? What's on the table on the left? Hold on, we got a super chat. Uh, do you guys collect consoles as well as arcades? So check this out. So that's a really good question. Mm-hmm. Thank you for the super chat, Remy. If you look real close at this picture of my office, on the right-hand side, there's a Dreamcast right there. And on top of the Dreamcast, if you look way, way over to that right-hand side, mm-hmm. there's a CDX. And on top of that, there's a Nuon, which is an obscure console. 
And, you know, we'll have to do a tour of that. That little back room in my office that's pink has probably mm. has – I have Saturn in there. I've got TurboGrafx-16. I've got Sega Genesis Model 1 and 2, um, an original top-loading – or not top-loader, a regular toaster NES. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I am very much into consoles, but not as much as – my buddy Justin over there. Yeah, I mean, they don't call me console kits for nothing. I, I I I don't have the variety that Ralph has, but I have the quantity. So, I currently have at least 50 consoles at my house. They're not collections. I I used to about a year ago I used to mod uh, a lot of Nintendos, and so I would purchase them, refurbish them, and I would utilize the best parts from the from, so basically, I have a whole bunch of rejects. I have a whole bunch of ones with crack cases that really can't be repaired, but have really good PCB boards in them. So I'll eventually find them a home. And then Mr. Ralph Ronzio is back here. And what's what are people talking about? Um, wait, what? People keep on talking about Star Wars. What is it? The Star Wars story, please. What's that? It, do you have more to your like? I mean, arcade no, cabinet or something. You uh, put the I got a little bit of I got a little bit of flack for the Star Wars video. See, this is the problem. So I used to I, I definitely was you guys know that have been watching me for a while. I used to do all these funny intros and I do mm -hmm. them from time to time now. It's just it's I was noticing I was taking more time to do the intros than anything else. And so in the intro, I made I took a I don't know. I can't remember what song it is. It's some pop song. And I basically said that <clears> the arcade one up yoke was bad, which it's not. Um, and some people didn't watch past the intro, so they were like, he's dogging on the Star Wars, oh my gosh, why would he do that, the yoke is great, and I, so, like, that's, sometimes you have to be careful what you do on your videos, because some people won't watch past the intro sometimes, so, um, so, so, but I don't know if that's the story that you were thinking, but, um, yeah, and then, then I just, it was a dumb thing, I just wanted to see if you could put an Alan One yoke on it, and actually, someone totally won up to my mm -hmm. Alan One yoke thing, and they turned their cabinet into like, basically they used the yoke for all sorts of different games. Like they put Outrun, they put oh, like a right. bunch yep. of Road Blasters. Yeah, there's been people that have taken that idea and like really ran with it. And that's kind of one of the things like, I know that I can take a concept and go a certain amount of depth with it, but it's cool to see the community take something that I, like maybe I started or maybe I did on my channel and go, oh my gosh, I could do something 10 times cooler with that or more in depth than that. Yeah, That's people, what's really neat because I'm like, wow, I didn't even think of that. My like, family wants some... to buy your marquees. <laughs> Thank uh, you for the super chat, my family. Send me a DM on uh, Facebook since you know where to find me there and we, we'll, we'll work something then, out. Um... Zohar, thank you for another for another super chat. He says, today is the six-week anniversary when I was live on the show and Ralph with Justin <laughs> said it make my dreams come come true. Then the world ended. <laughs> oh, come on, Zohar. I'm a I'm a pretty dramatic guy, but that's pretty dramatic. We're not, we're not, it's not gonna end. We got but thank you for the super chat. It's not gonna end. We're all gonna be fine. We're all gonna get through this. Mm -hmm. It just uh seems a little dire sometimes, but uh watch the TV a little less and and maybe it won't, won't bug you as much. Is this music for my PSA on coronavirus? <laughs> what is this? What are you doing? I think it's time. Closing time. Open all the doors and let you out into the world. Closing time. Turn on all the lights on from every boy and every girl. That's all I got. So no, no. gather up your jackets, <laughs> move into the exit. I hope you will find a friend. Wait, there, you forgot my favorite line of that song. What's that? You forgot my favorite line of that That's song. That's right, Michael has it figured out. I know a whole bunch of crappy 90s <laughs> music songs. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> this is I mean, so true. I, for, I forgot the my favorite line is like um he talks about grabbing whiskey or beer. What how does that go? Um um closing time one last call for alcohol, for alcohol so finish so your whiskey, whiskey or beer. Or beer. <laughs> I think I think the best part is actually um 
No. The best part is you don't have to go home, but you can't <laughs> stay here. And then they're like, that's I Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. See, guys, I'm also no. Talk, talk about <laughs> yeah, Mike has it figured out. The best part is when the song ends, and I think oh. I think we should end the show with you know, closing. Wait, closing time. Every new beginning comes from some of the beginnings end. Is there anything more to say, Ralph? Justin, you've said it all, my friend. You've literally said it all. I said it all. <laughs> all right. I hope you guys really enjoyed our show for tonight. That's all we have. We got to see how deep Retro Ralph's uh, addiction really goes. And I promise you, for next week, we plan on doing a very simple show, one where he's back in the office. We're going to show some cool things that we've discovered over the Internet, on the Internet, that we want to share with you that we've researched that we love and we'll we'll pretend this episode never existed because you know that's the best thing we do when someone has an addiction just pretend it doesn't exist that's 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 not that's actually not <laughs> that is the worst hey guys hold on that is the worst wait wait whoa, whoa, whoa. well we, we we've <laughs> that is the worst okay, advice fine. Ever we, we've <laughs> established that the addiction you know is not real you're not hurting anybody you're just buying way too many things yeah 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 so. yeah, yeah no no but 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 uh yeah, I don't know, Justin, where to go from there. I think I, I think the best thing that could happen right now is if the lights go out and we'll just call it. It would be awesome, but I think we're I think it stays on for like a good twenty minutes, so we'd have to stay on for another twenty. I, I don't know if we can. I don't know if we have it. I don't know if we have another twenty minutes. I can't believe Mike from Rhode Island thinks that that song sucks. I don't think that song sucks. You really like don't like that song? They were Nobody all like, can you, can they all go, wanted me to play cheese? like Metallica and, and, uh, I want to go remember. full cheese, Justin. Can you play, can you play, <laughs> oh, what? what's that song? What's that song that this, this used to bug me this song. Cause I dated this girl in high school and there was a, there was a dude. So I was definitely more of like, you know, my mom, you know, would always say like, be nice to girls. Mm -hmm. Like, don't be the bad boy. And I was always super Okay, nice. wait, 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 hold on. Mike. Mike says he's a punk fan. Okay. What, what, okay. what, what right. do we got? No. No. Hold. Something like that, right? Yeah. No, I can't remember. What's the next chord? God. <laughs> I'm missing one chord. Oh, he's like, that's not punk. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I think I offended. I mean, it, it's like Rhode 90s Island. punk. Is he talking about 80s punk? Like, I don't know. I'm he, sorry. He's from Rhode Island. He used to go to Lupo's downtown, and he'd have a good time there, seeing all these, like, underground bands. It's cool. He'd go to the living room and places like that. I know, Mike. I know what he used to do. Sorry. My, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't know. Like, I'm into, like... Like, I really, I have an addiction. I'll, I'll explain it. So I, this, this guitar that I have is, is a signature, let's see if it can come through, a signature Billy Corgan guitar. Like, I, I don't know why, but like when I was a kid, um, I love pumpkins. I, I really, really love smashing pumpkins. Like, so that's my addiction. So, yeah. So now we're going to do the. <laughs> We're going to start with the first album that the Smashing Pumpkins ever no, came out. No, no, Justin's no going to play that. Oh, oh see, closing. there it is. Time. It's time. It's you time. You don't have to go home. This but one's you can't just for Mike. Stay. We're going to have to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> you sing it, Ralph. <laughs> we can't. <laughs> <Close it. laughs> We gotta go, dude. Come on. I gotta get out of here. I can't see you. All right. Thank you so much. We love you. Take Thanks, care. Guys. Everybody stay safe. stay safe. Wash your hands.
and we'll see you on the next the one. The next one. Bye, guys. <laughs> Take care, guys.